dear students now this is the last topic of your vector calculus with that i am going to close the complete parts of your vector calculus here theorems successfully we completed your green's theorem and stokes theorem you need to remember that statements also now it is gas theorem the last one and uh, statement you can uh, have a idea on this gas theorem s is any closed surface enclosed by a volume v and f bar is any continuous and differentiable vector point function then integral over s f bar dot n bar ds it is equal to integral over v divergence of f bar dv this is a statement given by gas here f bar is vector point function and n bar is nothing but unit normal vector you need to calculate unit normal vector don't substitute your perpendicular vector you need to find out it gas theorem in gas theorem and uh, sometimes this gas theorem is also called as divergence theorem the reason is the right side integrand involving the divergence so that's why it is also called as divergence theorem so it is a relation between the surface integral and volume integral let us have a problem on this asking to find out integral over s f bar dot n bar ds where f bar is equal to x y i plus z square j plus 2 y z k over certain values x 0 y 0 z 0 and x plus y plus z equal to 1 now as i told you you just calculate the reverse reverse means in order to use gas divergence theorem it is integral over a surface integral they have given so better you are converting into volume integral so in order to do that right side integral f bar is given find out the divergence of f bar divergence is calculated anyhow for the vector function and finally you are getting the answer is 3y and in order to use right side integral we need to calculate the limits to get the limits look at your given expression x plus y plus z equal to 1 from that first you focus on the third variable z so that it is 1 minus x minus y so therefore the z limits are 0 to 1 minus x minus y similarly you are calculating for the next uh, next limits next limits means in order to do that in order to get the next variable substitute z equal to 0 so that you are getting x plus y equal to 1 and y equal to 1 minus x so y limits 0 to 1 minus x similarly to get x limit substitute y equal to 0 1 by 1 you are starting with third variable next second variable next first variable so for y equal to 0 you are getting in your previous equation x equal to 1 so that x limits 0 to 1 so now i am calculating the right side integral integral over v divergence of f bar dv so write down x limits y limit z limits and the divergence of f bar is nothing but 3y dv stands for dx dy dz and directly you do the integration first you start with z integration substitute the limits next y integration substitute the limits then you are integrating with respect to x and on making the simplification you are getting the final answer is equal to 1 by 4 is it not it's not 1 by 4 it is 1 by 8 final answer is 1 by 8 just you do the simplification it's only needs certain calculations and patience so on applying your gas theorem the left side integral is exactly your right side integral and that is equal to 1 by 8 value right similarly just to give you one uh, small problem use gas theorem in order to prove the statement integral over s f bar dot n bar ds equal to 3v so directly no f bar is given no n bar is given directly they are asking to prove that one so in order to do that actually integral over s it is not f bar it is r bar dot n bar instead of f bar they have given r bar so directly it is uh, applying a gas theorem f bar is already is given r bar so in order to use gas divergence theorem find out the divergence of f bar which is nothing but the divergence of r bar the divergence of r bar is nothing but i into do r bar by do x plus j into do r bar by do y plus k do r bar by do z substitute
two uh, that uh, differentiated values and you are getting the answer 3 so that integral over s r bar dot n bar ds equal to integral over v divergence of r bar dv divergence of r bar is 3 so integral you need not expand it because we don't have any limits now just you keep as it is v and finally you are getting 3 constant integral over v is nothing dv is nothing but v that is your final answer right i give you one similar type of problem that verification same verification of gauss theorem for a vector point function over the surface x plus y plus z equal to a this is somewhat lengthy the reason is left side is double integral and right side triple integral you need to calculate it any cost so in order to enter into the left side integral first you need to decide recall your surface integral where we calculated we require compulsory a plane so at present for the given problem i am supposing xy plane then surface integral can be calculated over xy plane f bar dot n bar dx dy divided by modulus of n bar dot k so in order to, f bar already is given to know about n bar so concentrate on your scalar function it is phi x plus y plus z minus a equal to 0 from that you are calculating the vector which is i plus j plus k so from that unit normal vector n bar is the given vector divided by under root of sum of the squares of the coefficients of i j k and finally you are getting i plus j plus k divided by root 3 so to substitute in the integral we need to calculate f bar dot n bar so that finally you are getting the answer is x square plus y square plus z square it is divided by root 3 so this is we calculated only f bar dot n bar and then in order to substitute that modulus of n bar dot k n bar dot k k to k multiplication final answer 1 divided by root 3 now before substituting in your left side integral we need to calculate your limits since we have taken x y plane z value anyhow it is equal to 0 so from that from the surface equation you just calculate y is nothing but limits a to 0 to a minus x and for y equal to 0 you will get x limits 0 to a substitute that x limits and y limits and just you do the simplification and finally you are getting on just y integration first next uh, x integration but while substituting in your function that uh, f bar dot n bar you should not get any z values that z can be converted into x and y variables by using your surface equation so so that you are converting into that and don't substitute z equal to 0 there there you are converting into with your surface equation and finally you are getting the answer is a power 4 divided by 4 this is your left side integral then coming to your right side right side integral is nothing but we need to use uh, integral over v divergence of f bar dv for your f bar find out the divergence 2 of uh, x plus y plus z the limits means three variable limits we need to calculate by applying your surface equation x plus y plus z equal to a first you calculate z limits 0 to a minus x minus y then for z equal to 0 you will get y limits then for y equal to 0 you will get x limits so right side divergence of f bar of dv it substitute your x limits y limits and z limits and divergence of f bar value you do the integration first with respect to z then with respect to y with respect to x and finally you are getting the answer a power 4 by 4 so exactly you can say that left side integral is equal to your right side integral so be patient while doing the calculations of course it takes lot of time in order to explain one by one it's just i am um, left uh, lefting with your exercise part only just you do the practice you will get your required values so thank you thank you one and all with this we have closed your complete vector calculus parts mm -hmm.